Barns are a, a big part of the American heritage. It's interesting to travel around the country and see the different styles of barns. What is a barn? A barn is an agricultural outbuilding that's really a house for agricultural animals, horses, mules, and whatever the farmer has to protect from the elements. I personally like to paint and have more interest in the older barns. They've seen some, some wear and tear and uh, in some cases have been abandoned. If you look at barns that were built in the northeastern United States, they were built according to traditional methods. If you were a New England farmer, every time you turned a spade of earth, you'd come up with rocks. So a lot of those barns are built of uh, stone. We didn't have that here, so our barns are built of wood planks. I wanted more than just a portrait of a barn. I wanted a barn painting that had a good silhouette. I was looking for a backlit barn that had some light shining through the boards. I did a series of 12 barn paintings for a calendar and I didn't have one that was like that. I had blue skies, I had stormy skies, but I wanted one different. I painted the barn off center on purpose just to make it a little more interesting composition so everything wasn't right, boom, in the center of the painting. In each of my paintings, I try to represent each of the primary colors. I'll have a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue, it might be real subtle. But this one, all those are in the sky. In the George Lockwood painting, he's painted a, a classic western barn, sometimes called the prairie barn. It's the kind of barn that was built west of the Mississippi during the settlement of the west, anywhere from the 1860s well into the 1910s and 20s. There's a few exceptions to the rule of the western style or prairie style barn in Ventura County. The Faulkner barn is basically a western style barn, probably originally built in the 1870s and expanded in the 1880s. The statement that's really being made on that barn is the enormous cupola that sits on the top. That's something you can see from miles around and you can bet they did it for that reason. Quitting time has a double meaning. Farmers at the end of the day when it gets dark, that's usually time to quit. And on the other side, I put doves on the wire, and while I was doing that, I got to thinking, well, I come from a pretty extensive hunting background. Anybody that hunts doves knows that shooting time is over at sunset. Their day is done too, and they're looking for a place to spend the night. Artists are part of the process of explaining the world to the rest of us. They're not necessarily trying to tell us about history, but they're exploring the world visually. These buildings that we see all around us are visual reminders of the way people used to live. And it really gives us a better appreciation of who we are today and how we got here.